Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Bridget Martin-Hard from Duke University, and I want to share with you one of my favorite demonstrations that I use in my introductory psychology class when teaching about sensation and perception. This is a demo you could also use in a sensation and perception course or even in an intro neuroscience course. So we're going to dive right in. I'm going to assign each of you to a particular group. If your last name begins with the letter A through L, you're in group one. If your last name begins with the letters M through Z, you're in group two. And if your last name is complicated like mine, just choose a group. Have you chosen a group? You got it? Okay, group two, if you could do me a favor, please, and close your eyes or look away from the screen until I call you back. Okay, seriously, please do this. Don't cheat. Group one, I want your eyes up on the screen right now, looking at this fixation cross that you see up here in the middle of the slide. Group one, eyes on the slide. I want you to look at this face here, and we're gonna keep your eyes there looking at the face. The face is gonna stay on the screen for 15 seconds, and then it's gonna flicker and change. And when it changes, you're gonna to try to recognize who you see in the new image as quickly as you can. Who do you see? Write it down for yourself. Don't put it in the chat window, please. Okay, all right, group one, you get to now close your eyes or look away from the screen. Please seriously do it, please look away. Group two, I want your eyes up on the screen right now, looking at this fixation cross that you see here in the middle of the slide. Group two, we're gonna look at this face here for the next 15 seconds, trying to keep your eyes up on the image, looking at the face. And again, after 15 seconds, the image will flicker and change. And you're gonna try to see who you recognize in the new image as quickly as you can. Who do you see? Write it down. All right, so everyone's eyes now can come open. And I'm curious, group one, who did you see? You can type it in the chat. In a live class situation, I would ask students to shout it out. I'm guessing that most of you in group one saw Donald Trump in that second image. Now, what about group two, who did you see? And again, you can type it in the chat or shout it out. I'm guessing that most of you in group two saw Hillary Clinton. Now, this is really quite puzzling because all of you, both groups, in fact, saw the same face. And yet each group saw vastly different people in this image. Who is this person? Well, this is the Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton love child, Hillary Trump, Donald Clinton. This face is a perfect 50-50 morphed hybrid of these two images. And what we've just experienced here as a group is what's called a face identity after effect. This is when adapting to a specific face causes you to perceive an average face or a hybrid face in terms of its opposite. So what we did was to take group one and adapt you to Hillary Clinton's face. After being adapted to Hillary Clinton's face, when you saw the hybrid or average face, it's as if your brain subtracted out the Hillary Clinton-ness from that image, leaving you behind with only Donald Trump. Group two, we adapted you in the opposite direction. So we adapted you to Donald Trump's face so that you then perceive the hybrid stimulus as Hillary Clinton. Now, this is a fun illusion, right? But what does it tell us exactly? What is its pedagogical value? A surprising demo is great, but only if it can actually teach our students something interesting, something important. Well, the face identity after effect can actually teach our students the same basic principles that other after effect illusions can teach them. And in fact, I like to use this demonstration alongside other after effect illusions to teach these principles. And these after effect illusions should be somewhat familiar to you. They include the color after effect illusion and the motion after effect illusion, right? In, in both of these illusions, we see that adapting you to a particular stimulus causes you to perceive some neutral stimulus as its opposite. And these after effect illusions teach us really interesting things about the nervous system and especially about the visual system. They teach us, for example, that different neurons in our brain respond very selectively to different features of visual input like light wavelengths or motion in particular directions. They also teach us that these selectively responsive neurons aggregate their activity together to help our brains decide what we see. And then critically, a process called neural adaptation can cause a reduction in the response of just specific neurons in the system, which can throw off our brain's calculations. Now, if you're feeling a little confused, don't worry, that's pretty normal. It takes a while to really fully grasp how these after effect illusions work. And so to help you and your students out, I'm providing you with some additional resources that I think will help you to use and teach these illusions in your class. If you follow this hyperlink here, um, which we'll also put in the chat window, or you can use this QR code, you will find my detailed lecture notes and my detailed lecture slides 
with built-in timings for teaching these After Effect illusions. You'll also find a full video version of me teaching my students about After Effect illusions. And this was specifically a video that I created for asynchronous online teaching. Now, I do wanna share that I've been teaching the face identity After Effect for quite a long time now. And I do typically like to use faces that correspond to famous political figures, simply because they tend to be so recognized by our students. So when I first started teaching this demonstration, I used a George Bush, John Kerry hybrid, then it was an Obama, George Bush hybrid. But you know, more and more our students seem to get younger and younger and younger and don't necessarily recognize these people. But fortunately, I was able to find an artist on Instagram named Benji, who makes these beautiful artistic hybrids of famous faces. And when I reached out to him, he was willing to share not only the Clinton-Trump hybrid that I showed you, but also a range of other hybrid famous faces as well that you can use to do your own face identity after effect demonstration. So a big shout out to Benji for being willing to share these awesome stimuli. I hope that you will check out his Instagram page. And now I'm ready to take your questions. Thank you so much.